What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use monday.com for budgeting or how to manage your budget or the financial side of your life. So monday.com has great tools to uh, organize and manage virtually anything from your work projects, your personal life and errands, and also your budget. So let's get right to it. Now here, the first step is creating a uh, workspace or working on an existing workspace. So here I can access my workspaces right here, home, and then click on the name of the workspace here. I have many workspaces that uh, I have uh, done to test some features here for different projects. Now in the main workspace that you might have, uh, and once you add a, or once you enter or open the main workspace or any newly created workspace, you can create a workspace from this drag down menu or if it's just drop down menu, sorry, and click on add workspace here. Let's add one. Let's uh, call it budget tracker. Okay, add workspace. And once you add a new workspace, you'll find that it is blank here. That's because you need to add boards to the workspace, uh, either from a ready-made template or start from scratch and building your own uh, or building the board on your own. I do prefer adding from a template so here you have many templates to choose from and you can uh, view them by category as well. So let's search for uh, budget here. And you see here that you have three uh, boards specifically for budgeting. Now the first two are for marketing and financer, financial uh, like business. Uh, the third one I think is the best suited for you. However, you can go ahead and uh, view these two in order to see if they work best in your case then go ahead and use them however for this video i'm going with the third plan or with the third board that's the budget plan click on it <coughs> you can see here some screenshots and uh, a description okay use template and it's now creating my board from this template so basically what it uh, did is that it created a simple uh, table view first now, what it did uh, do is that it created a simple uh, table view. However, the columns are specifically uh, done to track budget as well as the format for the currency is set. As you can see here, the numbers are in dollars. So um, here you have also a main table. That's the main uh, table view. And you have the conditional formatting. And you can also view a chart view to track your personal budget. However, the chart view is for a paid plan and you are on the free plan. Now let's go back to the conditional formatting right here. Um, as you can see here, let's uh, see the main task here. You have uh, some tasks laid out and divided into projects. Let's say I will um, rename the projects as the categories of my uh, spending. So let's say project one, let's say here, this is the home uh, spending like what you would buy for your house your groceries and whatnot and the project two would be like the car expenses so the gas the uh, like any bills or anything uh, any maintenance related to your car so that's basically it and here if you go to the main table as you can see the titles are the same however you get um, here some different views on each view right here the condition formatting and the main table now uh, here let's go in the main table first you can add a comment here or you can add in each project you can add many tasks which will be like the spending uh, goals like for example for home let's say uh, groceries here and um, electricity bill and let's say for example the maintenance like I'm making up like categories here so here if it's on budget let's say for the groceries if it's on budget or not here you can try the formulas and you can also in each column you can click here to sort here or clear the column and you can add also additional columns as well I'll show you that now here for each column or for each like uh, category 
uh, you can edit like the parameter right here so I can add a due date or start date here and this is also for the uh, premium plans as, as you saw here the budget I can divide my budget here so I have like 15,000 these are like randomly uh, added or uh, like uh, defined numbers let's say for the groceries I'll say two thousand dollars per month for like the electricity I can say it's 500 and for the maintenance is 1000 so here they are sort you can sort them here by uh, budget and here the difference is uh, is because this there is like a uh, an additional format or additional like formula that is added here which will calculate any difference if it's on budget with based on some predefined values so um leave it as it is now here you can add notes such as the stuff to buy the resources the travel uh, budget and the actual spent and here you can view statuses now if we go to the conditional formatting here it's uh, more simple here the resource is uh, 11000 for example and the travel is is 13,000 and the budget is 2,000 that means uh, there are a difference of minus 11,000 you can edit these numbers so let's say the budget is like 20,000 in this case we have a surplus of 7,000 and then we are on budget now you can do so with each of these uh, categories and if you don't want to have a date like uh, option you can delete it here let's delete the date because I don't uh, want it and here uh, you can edit the statuses so let's say I did the groceries I bought or I paid the electricity but I didn't pay the maintenance or I'm stuck at it or I can add different labels such as I'm going to pay tomorrow or uh, for example it's unpaid or anything and I can edit these categories over here and I can also add columns so I can show the status, I can add a simple text column to uh, write whatever I want here. So uh, write in and add emojis and stuff like that. I can add also a drop down menu. However, the uh, options that have this icon next to them uh, means that this option is for the paid plans, not for the free. I can add numbers column, uh, category, I can add files, I can uh, add formula, I can add checkbox, priority, label, and stuff like that. And I can also access more columns if I press here in these uh, categories or columns categories. Now, uh, for the budget, I can set formulas to calculate automatically uh, these uh, spendings and subtract them, retract them from the actual budget that I uh, do enter. And if I go here, I can add a view as well. So let's add a Kanban view, for example. And the same uh, categories here. However, they are sorted in these lists the, uh, based on the status. So the groceries are done, electricity is done, maintenance, task one, task two, uh, task three, these are gener generic tasks. And task two as well is in stock. So I can here, if I want to, if it's easier for you, you can uh, go ahead and drag and drop each uh, task here or each category into these lists let's go here to the conditional formatting and if I go to groceries I can expand it okay and I can edit it as I want I can add comments I can add files and stuff like that let's close it here I can add notes and I can add here um, in this cell, they added for, uh, for you uh, a sum of these uh, the category, the resource, for example, or the travel or the actual spent and so on. I can edit the units. I can edit the function. So this is sum. I can add average, median, minimum, maximum, and count. And I can uh, remove the uh, equations or the uh, functions or the formulas. Now, in order to edit the formula or uh, add new formulas, you need, as you saw here, to... Uh, subscribe to a pitman or you can unlock the formula column and try it for free for 14 days which is like a trial and that's pretty much it you can here add additional uh, categories or add new groups you can add tasks to uh, each group right here so let's say I have groceries electricity maintenance I want to add for example the gas okay 
and uh, I can add the resource right here or the actual spent I spent for example sorry okay it doesn't want to edit because uh, it's in the formula uh, or in the, this is the equation so let's say the resource is for example 1000 travel is also 1000 so here 2000 the budget I have for gas is 3000 so this means I have 1000 extra so this is on budget so that's pretty much it that's uh, how you can use monday.com for budgeting or to track and manage your budget